And Granny was great. She taught us how to fish. She would go down to the pond. She'd fish with a cane pole. Some of y'all may not know what I'm talking about. She'd fish with a cane pole. Cane pole, 14 foot long, about the size of that microphone on the little end. By God, you could pole vault with Granny's fishing pole. 30 pound test line. Sometimes truck gets stuck in the ditch. We'd pull it out with Granny's fishing line. <laughs> like a piece of mason cord on there. And a little cork and a hook, and she'd use crickets, worms, or minnows. Fishing was not a sport to Granny. It was a way of putting food on the table. She was raised nine, ten children during the Depression. So she was serious about catching something to eat. And you hope and pray to God this woman caught something, because if not, you were having worms, crickets, and minnows, and cornbread for supper. <laughs> I got news for y'all. Survivor ain't showed me nothing I won't eat yet. <laughs> Bring it on. I'll eat a grub worm in a heartbeat. And she'd sit there on that pond, boy. She would watch that cork. And she was just like a steel cold trap. And she'd watch it. And if it so much as wiggle, whoo, she'd jerk a fish out so violently he'd be clean and filleted when he hit the ground. <laughs> Look like a Mrs. Paul's fish stick flopping around. Sometimes she was a little too quick, though, Bruce. She'd watch it, and boy, she'd be like a steel trap and fit just so much as whispered, Phew! just jerk a set of lips out. <laughs> Pretty big fish, lips weigh a pound and a half. Went from being a largemouth bass to a no-mouth bass. Used to catch a lot of hair lip fish behind Granny. You boys ever tried to catch a bass just in the bottom lip? Can't be done. <laughs> <laughs>